Hey, good morning. Today I continue reading from the book of Daniel. I know I haven't shared much about my reading in the Old Testament, but I continue reading Daniel 9 and 10. For those who are familiar with Daniel 9, you remember that in Daniel 9 is a powerful prophecy of the 70 weeks of Israel. But today, I'm not going to share about that. You can find all that information about the 70 weeks and you can read it for yourself. But this is what the Lord impressed upon my heart today very strongly. In chapter 9, verse 22, And he informed me and talked with me and said, O Daniel, I have now come forth to give you skill to understand. This is the angel Gabriel talking to Daniel. At the beginning of your supplications, the command went out and I have come to tell you. I have come to tell you. For you are greatly beloved. Therefore, consider the matter and understand the vision. Daniel was praying for Israel at the time when the vision came to him and the Lord God sent Angel Gabriel. Then in chapter 10, in another vision, as a continuation of chapter 9, this is what the angel told Daniel. Chapter 10, verse 10, Suddenly a hand touched me, which made me tremble on my knees and on the palms of my hands. And he said to me, O Daniel, Man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak to you and stand upright, for I have now been sent to you. Verse 12, Then he said to me, Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come because of your words. What is the common thing that the angel came to tell Daniel. O oh Daniel, you are greatly beloved. So today the Lord is reminding us, before we can understand the visions and prophecies, we have to first know that you are greatly beloved. You are not just tolerated by God. God really loves you the way that you are and greatly loves you. He is well pleased with you. He is not merely tolerating you. Today, you have to accept and love yourself, not because of ego or self, but because God loves you. When God created man, God said, let us make man in our image. And when he made man, he said that it was very good. Stop punishing yourself. Stop sabotaging yourself. You have to love yourself because God loves you. We cannot have a standard that is higher than God. If God sent His Son for you to die for you on that cross, to clear off your debt, to reconcile you to Himself, to pour out His love for you through the cross and now after the cross, how can He merely tolerate you when He sent His Son for you? Forget about all the theological arguments for all the philosophies and all that. I want you to know that God loves you first. And then you can start to understand all of the rest of God and why the world is the way it is. God loves you and today God sent me to remind you that you are greatly 
beloved. Have a blessed day.